Hey everybody, this is Rocco. I'm relaxing a little bit today, like I do every day. But today is an important day in my life. You see, everyone, today I am seven years old in human years. Can you believe it? It just seems like the other day I was coming home as a three-month-old kitten and I fit in the palm of Steven's high school hand and now I'm seven years old and I'm all large. I'm a large cat. And I just wanted to say to all of you who loved me and continue to love me out in the cyber world, thank you. I know that there have been new cats introduced to the vlog, but I was the original and I'm still furry and I still love cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. Happy birthday to me. By the way, hello everyone, and welcome to Tuesday. You can probably tell by the glasses that uh, I did not get adequate rest last night, but I did pretty good, and I got up on time, and I did get a lot done today. We were over at my parents' house this evening. We wanted to help them finish up the leftovers from yesterday's cookout, and yes, it is indeed Rocco's birthday. Rocco is seven years old. And I have to admit that it feels really, really weird to say that. Um, earlier, in the last clip, I mentioned that there was a time when I could hold Rocco in the palm of my hand. If you haven't seen that picture, here it is. That is Rocco. Uh, shortly, I believe shortly after we got him, so I, he, he must have been just three months old. Um, actually, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. He was two months old when we got him. Um, you're supposed to get kittens... At, the, at, at that shelter, maybe in South Carolina, when they're three months old, when they're 12 weeks, but we actually got Rocco when he was eight weeks. And um, man, <laughs> he was he was rowdy. I mean, you guys know Rocco now as you know, this plump cat that lays around and wants food whenever you have it on your table. Um, but he was a very, very rowdy kitten and he loved to play and he was always running all over the place. And he still has that in him. And I guess it's just because I was able to grow up you know, watching him, and uh, I, I can see some of his kitten aspects still, still in him, and uh, he is a very playful cat sometimes. Uh, that being said, Rocco is not a lap cat. He's never been a lap cat. He never has come when he's called, and it's kind of refreshing to have Sagan and Kepler. Nothing against Rocco, of course. I love Rocco. I, I mean, I, I picked him out uh, in 2006, but he's never been that kind of cat. And Sagan and Kepler are those kinds of cats. I mean, Sagan in particular. I mean, if I'm on one side of the house, I can I can say, "Hey, Sagan, hey, buddy," and, and call him, and he'll go, rah, 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 and he'll run over to me. And you know, throughout the day, many times he just wants to jump on my lap and curl up and sleep. Uh, Kepler does it too occasionally, uh, but the, but to a lesser extent. And I don't hate Rocco for not doing that, but it's just really interesting to see how the personalities are different. But that being said, I really do like having a lap cat. Um, but the cat I don't normally talk about is Mittens, and uh, may maybe you didn't even know I had a cat before Rocco. Um, it's a cat that my parents got. Mittens, I think, was already three or four years old by the time I was born. Um, I was 15 when, when Mittens passed away, and uh, she was 19 and a half. She was like almost 20 years old in human years, so she was, I mean, she was ancient. <laughs> Uh, but she was a wonderful cat. The only thing with Mittens was that she was not very friendly. Uh, she was very prissy, the prissiest cat I've ever seen. Wanted, you know, to... She, she would wash herself and then she would stay away from you and if you went to pet her, she, mm, she didn't really care much for that. And the only people that were allowed to be with her, pet her, you know, touch her, was my family. That was it. Anyone else came over? Any company? Nuh-uh. Wouldn't have any of that. They would go to, to get near her. She would hold her ground. But if you, they went to Pether, she would hiss. Oh, she would hiss all the time. So when I grew up, that was kind of like my understanding of cats. Like, that's what cats were. That's what cats did. And a few of my friends had cats, and uh, we just never spent a whole lot of time with them. Uh, so I guess I never really got a chance to understand that cats were something different than mittens. But despite that, I really loved animals growing up, and I really loved mittens. And uh, when mittens passed away in February 2005, um, it was a little over a year later, um, obviously the end of May in 2006, that we decided to get Rocco. And um, I remember going to pick up Rocco that day. Uh, we went to the same shelter that we got Sagan and Kepler, but you didn't know that. 
and uh, we actually went with my friend Seth, who is ironically allergic to cats. Uh, I had already kind of made up my mind uh, that I was going to name a cat Rocco, because uh, at that time I had a huge infatuation, a re-infatuation with the show Rocco's Modern Life, and um, that, that cat, Rocco, really chose us that day. I mean, he was all over me and he wanted to get in the cage and, uh, you know, more or less go home with us. And that's kind of how I approached it when we got Sagan and Kepler. So, I don't know. There, I, I almost have a special connection to Rocco through Sagan and Kepler because we got him at the same place. Um, I was in the same room that I got Rocco when I got these cats, even though it was, you know, so many years apart. It's just kind of special for me. Anyway, um, I know it's it's kind of a weird vlog, and, and very quickly, I will say that uh, I spent a lot of time today working on the end slate, and by this time it may not matter because I keep changing the end slate for each day, so it may be different, but this is what I had today. Um, and I found out you can't actually link to, uh, you can't link to Twitter and Facebook in annotations, which is stupid, so now I'm working on a new version that just has like years past, and it's gonna have like, I don't know, links to the store and Steven Plays because you can do those, but you can't do the other links. I don't know. I'm working on it. And by this time, you're probably on, like, Revision 3. But keep talking about it in the comments because I'm using your comments to revise it, and I do appreciate the help. I don't know what you guys can talk about. Just talk about pets, I guess. Um, it's just... It's, it's a really weird situation having picked out Rocco so many years ago and now having cats of my own. When Rocco was my cat, you know, it's... I don't know if anyone else has gone through this, and I'm actually very fortunate to live so close to my parents that I can visit Rocco anytime I want. And uh, obviously I have a closer bond with Sagan and Kepler now because I'm the one that takes care of them, I'm the one that feeds them, I'm the one that, you know, cleans their litter box, and me and Mal clean up the house after them, and I'm with them all day. But I still love Rocco, you know, he, I, I'm the one that picked him out, and my family is very glad I did because he really kept them company when I was in college, so. They, they love him, and they're, they're glad that, that we decided to get a cat after Mittens passed away. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Find something to talk about. Um, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was cool that Rocco is now seven years old. I don't think we ever talked about him being six. We may have, but it wasn't an entire vlog devoted to it. So Rocco deserves uh, a chance to shine on the vlog spotlight every once in a while. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? And uh, we're having a big old cookout today. We're going to be doing burgers and uh, hot dogs God. <laughs> out there on the grill. Yoinks. Isn't that like a catchphrase? What am I thinking of? Jinkies. Jinkies? No, zoinks. Zoinks, zoinks yeah. Same show. Same show.